Hi there, it's Maria here with you and I am back today to share with you some very simple and cute Valentine's Day projects showcasing the new Love Bites stamp set and coordinating dies by Newton Snook Designs. This stamp set is part of the January stamp release by Newton Snook and the images are so cute and the sentiments are so perfect to go with the images and my favorite are the olive ones. They are so cute with their little feet and you can also purchase the coordinating dies. I'm also using the frames and flags die set and the new tumbling hearts stencil. I started out by stamping my images on Nina Solar White cardstock. This is the 110 pound with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I will be coloring the images with my Copic markers. Before I start coloring the images, I use my Copic Multiliner here to draw a little bit on the toast so that I can color that with my Copic markers and make it look like it's jelly. And I will be doing some simple Copic coloring on the images since they are too small I didn't really want to oversaturate the paper. I only use V17 for the grape jelly and then for the toast I use E30 and then use my darker shade of E33 and then went back with my E30. I will also show you a little bit of the coloring that I did for the cute little olives. They are very simple. At first I started with YG03 and then for my darker shade, I used the YG63 and then went back with my YG03. And then I will also be using my R29 to color the pimentos. So I will not be showing you all of the coloring here because they're very simple, but I really like the sodas as well. And so I will be making three projects here for you today. The first one is the olive card and I am just using the coordinating dies to die cut those little images. This is a must have because it cuts out all the cute little images and if you don't have a scan and cut then you really need to purchase the dies and they are quite inexpensive so they are very affordable. I am using the scallop die from the frames and flags die set by Newton Snook and then I'm going to use a double stitch heart die that I have from my stash to cut out those little heart windows and then I will be using my Distress Oxide Worn Lipstick to color the hearts with my blending tool and then distress that with my Distress Sprayer and then dab it with my paper towel. And I apologize that I lost a little bit of the footage, but I used a die from my stash to put some details on my card front here. And they are just some stitching details because I wanted the hearts to look connected. And now I'm using my blending tool and my Distress Oxide with the new Tumbling Hearts stencil, also by Newton Snook, to color my card base. And then I will be using the 3M Scotch foam tape to assemble the card and then some Nuvo adhesive to adhere the pink hearts. I will also use some foam dots to adhere the little olives and then stamp the sentiment using my VersaFine Black Onyx ink. And now I'm using my Copic liner again to add some dot details to the card. The card looked so plain earlier and I didn't like how it turned out. So I just added a little bit of black dots to the card front to just have a little bit more color instead of just pink. And now it's time to work on card number two. I use a die from my stash to cut out those three windows and then also use the fancy scallop edge die. And then I'm using some pattern paper that I have from my stash to add some color to the bottom of my card. And I was just cutting the excess there. I used some craft foam adhesive that I purchased from the craft store and I really like it because it's really sticky. Now I'm adding some color to those positive die cuts using the Distress Oxide ink, the Broken China. And then I am going to adhere that back to the little windows there with my new Nuvo adhesive. And then I will also adhere the cute soda images with my 3M foam tape. 
and then stamp the sentiment with my Versafine Black Onyx ink. And now it's time to work on project number three. I'm using this Fancy Tag Dies by Newton Snook. This is a very versatile tag die set and you can cut out all of the little details and add some extra cuteness to your little tags and I am using the borders there to die cut that cute pattern paper from Doodlebug. And I was just adhering that with my Nuvo adhesive. And as you can see, it just adds some great details to your tags and make it look unique. I am going to adhere the little images with my adhesive as well. But first, I am going to stamp that sentiment with my Versafine Black Onyx ink. This tag set is one of my favorites now because it is so versatile. There are so many possibilities using this tag die set. And of course, I will be linking everything in the description box below. And now I'm going to add that sheer purple ribbon from the craft store that I purchased a couple months ago and then finish that off with the striped white and red baker's twine. So here is what it looks like when it's all done and as you can see that tag set is a must have for any paper crafter. So there's the first card and the tag and then here is the second card that I made as well. These cards will be donated at the local children's hospital over here, which is why they are all very simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Everything will be linked in the description box below. Thank you again for joining me and have an amazing day.